Hello there, in this guide I want to show you how to fix the XMP profile in your RAM. For this example I am using this Lexar RAM that is rated for 3600 MHz at CL18 timings. And when I bought it two months ago, I just plugged it in, enabled the XMP profile, the profile 1 and profile 2 in the BIOS. But as soon as I started gaming, it encountered a lot of crashes in games and graphical glitches as well. So I went and tried the stress testing in Prime95 and other software and they just crash immediately turning errors after like two minutes of the stress tests. So the only solution I found is to manually overclock your RAM through the BIOS settings. So a quick disclaimer, do the following at your own risk, even though it should be safe as long as you don't do extreme overclocking and you follow the tutorial closely, step by step. And in the end, your results may actually be better than the advertised speeds and with lower latency than the RAM is marketed for. So let's get started with the tutorial. First thing, restart your PC. As it's restarting, spam these last F row keys from F9 to F12 until you reach the BIOS. It could tell you to enter setup. If so, click on enter setup. Then go to the advanced settings here. I'm using an MSI motherboard. So if you're using something like ASUS, you have to look for the equivalent settings for you. The naming should be the same pretty much. For these that we are about to change, go to the OC settings, select the profile, will work based on the XMP profile that comes with our RAM. I'll select the profile one. With the profile one selected, we go ahead to the DRAM frequency and then we set it to 3600. Of course, you can experiment with these values, but these are the ones that I found to be the most stable for me. Now for the Infinity Fabric, we set it to 1600 megahertz. Anything higher than this just refuses to boot. So I wouldn't go higher for this. After that, we go to the advanced DRAM configuration We will, where we will adjust our timings. For the command rate, this is very important. It has to be set to 2T. If you set it to 1T, it will be highly unstable. So this one is very important. We set it to 2T. Now for the timings, you can use these. I tried lower than these and the computer did not want to boot after that. So these are the lowest I can get. You just click on the value and type the number and press enter on the keyboard and it should apply. Do it for all of these and everything here under here is set to auto and its default value. I did not change anything after the TRC value. After that, we go back. Then we go to the voltage here of DRAM. We set the voltage here. And this could be dangerous if you set it to anything higher than 1.5. So do not set this higher to 1.5. Set it to 1.37. You can experiment with 1.4, but never above 1.5. After that, all that is done. We exit out of the BIOS, saving our settings. Then here we can check our results in Windows. I'll use Typhoon here to check my RAM statistics. As you can see here, all the values are applied. I'll check, I'll double check with the CPU Z. Here in the memory section, we can see all the settings are applied. Now, last thing we need to do is to do a stress test. I'll use Prime95 with these settings and a 20 minute test should be enough but I'll skip ahead towards 26 minutes. So after 26 minutes of this test running, I stop it. So you have to stop it because it runs indefinitely. Now it has completed with success multiple tests, which is good with zero errors. And this is what we were looking for. If you do get any errors, even one, you'll have to go back to the BIOS and adjust your settings. You can test out with higher timings than I used. Adjust the voltage, infinity fabric frequency, and the DRAM frequency until you get stable results. If by any chance you're stuck in a black screen and just you can't get to Windows or the BIOS itself, even after multiple restarts, which actually did happen to me, you can just go ahead and remove the CMOS battery from your motherboard after you shut down your computer, of course. Then you plug it back in 
turn on your computer and the BIOS settings should reset after that and you can try again. The battery looks like the one here in the picture and is very easy to remove. Now the results I've got from all of this tweaking is better timings, even better than the ones that come with the XMP profile and much higher stability, like I've never crashed since two months of using these settings and I have been doing heavy workload using most of my RAM, gaming and video editing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to help as much as I can. Hope this tutorial helped you out and peace out.